Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to cover QuickBooks Online versus QuickBooks Desktop. So let's get started. So I have heard a lot of comments about QuickBooks Online not being a very good accounting program, but that's why I wanted to make this video because I think it is a very good accounting program. The best way I can describe both softwares is for example, uh, a 1040 tax return. You have a simple form and an extended form. Both do the same. They both do your tax return. The difference is that one is more simpler than the other. So that's how I can compare it. QuickBooks Online is very simple and QuickBooks Desktop is a little bit more complex, but they both do the same thing. The end results are financial statements that you need for your business. But I wanted to cover some of the features, some of the pros, some of the cons, some of the features between the two software so you can see what the best software program is for your business. I use both, but I mostly use QuickBooks Online. Um, let's start with that one, QuickBooks Online. What are the pros with QuickBooks Online? Well, um, besides the obvious being cloud-based, it is very, to, very easy to use and it can integrate with a lot of apps. And I think the learning curve on the QuickBooks Online, it's a lot faster than QuickBooks Desktop. The cons for the QuickBooks Online is that it can get, it, it is more expensive than other um, accounting apps out there or softwares um, because of the different subscriptions and it varies of which subscription you you get for your business but it can get expensive from like 240 to 300 plus a year. Con is that QuickBooks Online has fewer features than the QuickBooks Desktop, and that's what we're going to look at today. The pro about the QuickBooks Desktop is that it has strong features, strong reporting. It also integrates with um, other apps. It's hard to find some apps that integrate with, with QuickBooks Online, but I mean, it integrates with 200 plus apps, whereas QBO is 500 plus apps. And the con about the QuickBooks desktop is that there is no remote access, no mobile app, um, has fewer automations, and it can also get expensive depending on the, on the software because we have Pro, we have the Enterprise, and uh, we have the Premiere. So depending on which um, type of desktop version you buy, that's what you pay for. So let's get started on comparing the features, but that's kind of like the pros and cons of each. Oh, and one thing that they both have in common, that is a total con, is the customer support. Both QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop, it's so hard to talk to someone and get some answers to your questions. So that's the same in both. It's not one, it's not better in one than the other it, it that's customer support for both it's a it's hard it's hard to communicate with someone in, in into it but anyway let's get started on comparing the features one of the um features that i want to go over are um the vendors because if you look at the vendors in quickbooks desktop there is a lot of information that you can enter in the QuickBooks. There's a lot of tabs here that you can, um, for information, and you can even do custom fields, like you de you can define your custom fields for many uh, different um, vendors. You, you could do vendors, employees, and customers. So I like this feature about QuickBooks Desktop where you could do your own custom fields. In QuickBooks Online, you can't do that. In QuickBooks Online, it's very limited, but you could still um, have the basic, you know, person's name, company, phone numbers, email, account information, 1099 address, the basic. As you could see, if that's all you need, then that's perfect. If you want, if you want to go more into like defined fields and have extra, then 
there's the desktop version. But also remember um, that in QuickBooks Online, depending on the subscription you have, you may even have more tabs here. This is the essential or the very basic. So I'm missing a few tabs here. Um, if you have the plus or advanced, there's a lot more information you can enter. So just keep that in mind. So that's one thing I wanted to show you. Now, as far as entering an expense or a bill, um, the difference here, I, I'm sorry, uh, expense or a check. A bill is a bill in QuickBooks Desktop and QBO. But in QuickBooks Online, there's an expense column, um, expense and a, a check. So there is a difference. Expense is used also for credit cards. Um, and it's more like, it's not a check. It's more like a debit transaction, something that's coming out of the, you know, that was charged to the credit card or bank card that you can use it, put it as an expense in the desktop version. There is no expense. It's only banking and write a check. And then you have a separate one to enter credit card charges. So there is no expense. Your check is, is an expense, but you can distinguish check or expense in QuickBooks online, but not the QuickBooks desktop. So I find that to be a major difference in both um, files. Now, as far as, let me click on, let me click on a check. As far as categories here, um, it's the same. We have category, which is your chart of accounts, description amount. And if you have the, um, here's your items. So we have, oh, you can, job costed if you need to to a customer you can do that so that's kind of like the same in quickbooks um online if we do banking i mean the desktop banking write a check we have both tabs the items tab which you put the items and the expense tab a major difference between qbo and the desktop are the reports in the desktop version you have a lot of reports you can pull from and you can even customize those reports in QuickBooks Online, you have a limited, let me close this, you have a limited amount of reports that you can work with. Just the basics. I mean, you have your, um, let me see if you can see this. You have your balance sheet, financials, you have, you know, accounts receivable, what you bill, products, services, um, items, sales tax. These are basic, basic, basic reports. And if you're using payroll, you have your payroll. You can even have some custom reports here that you use. But it, I mean, more in debt, like job costing, manufacturing reports, um, you know, that would be the desktop version. They have very good reports in here. One major difference between the two is also inventory. I would use the desktop version for manufacturing inventory. The reason being is that you could do, for example, you could take item A and item B to create item C. You're manufacturing from two items to make one. You can't do that in QuickBooks Online. QuickBooks Inventory, Products and Services, it's more like you buy 10 shirts for $10 and you're reselling them for 20 and then QuickBooks will calculate your cost of goods and how much you have in stock. That's the the most that QuickBooks inventory can do. So if you need something simple like that, just to hold the count of something that you're reselling, QuickBooks Online will work for you. That's not a problem. But if you're looking to do some manufacturing, some, you know, product A and product B together will equal product C, um, and some heavy duty inventory manufacturing, go with the desktop version. It's the best way to go. Um, a lot of contractors also ask, is it better to use the desktop version than the QuickBooks Online? Well, QuickBooks Online has um, worked hard and is working hard to create something for the construction industry, which is called the projects in this sample company file. I don't think you can see, um, the projects area, but, um, it's called projects and 
I will put an image here because in this you can't really see it, but I'll, I'll have a picture of it um, so you can see it where you can now see your total income, you can see your expenses, you can see the transactions for each project that you're working on, essentially your job, uh, your cost, job costing, you know, um, in QuickBooks Online. There's also progress payments, or I'm sorry, cro progress billing in QuickBooks Online. It's simple, it's not that complex, but it works. And of course, in the desktop version, you can do all that stuff. You can have estimates. You can have estimates in QBO too. Um, you can bill your clients. This is an actual um, construction company file, sample file that I have. So you can see all these, you know, transactions here as well. So I think those are the t the major differences as far as billing your clients it, it's the same it just goes off of you know you're using you're using items there's items in both softwares um billing progress billings there's progress billings in both softwares so i don't see that as a major um difference because it works uh, but those um items that i mentioned inventory reports um the expense in qbo and i'm sure there's more but these are just the ones that are coming um, coming to me at the moment where there's a difference. Like I always say, it's like, um, you know, simple tax return or an extended tax return. Both tax return types lead to the same thing, which is a tax return for the year. One is just a simple form. The other is just a more extended form. And that's how I look at QBO and QB, uh, QuickBooks desktop. One is is a more extended format of accounting the other one is a simple one i don't know about you but i really like simple <laughs> so i really like simple and if i can keep things simple in the business it's much better because you have a business to run so i hope that you like my like this video please give thumbs up um and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how to's tips and tricks and troubleshooting i will see you on the next one